Hello everyone, this is Joseph K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. In the last part, we went to the Cliff Hop and we went to Yulia City and we escaped Yulia City via memory particles and we left Tyr and Luke behind and now we're playing as Ash. But before we go any further in this game, we need to cook with, uh, cook with Ash. And I also need to rearrange my party. So, let's get there and let's get you there. Perfect. Now let's cook with Ash. Uh, sure. Sandwich. Doesn't matter. Cook anything with Ash that you want. And you get a skin. Cook with love. Now this is delicious. Wow, yeah, Ash. You made this, right? What? You have a problem with that? No, it's just that I can't accept the fact that you can cook better meals than I do. You're a princess. You don't need to know how to cook. I'll cook for you, my beloved Natalia. Aw, that's a, what a sweet couple. Oh, Ash, I'm delighted. Anything to please your palate, Natalia. And then, Fang Blade! <laughs> Hey, it's a joke. Cut the food, not me. <laughs> I don't think I ever got that skit, to be honest. I didn't... It never occurred to me when I was playing to cook with, uh... Ash at all. But, now that we got that out of the way... So, the first thing we gotta do is we need to get five rice, but as you know, we don't have any rice. So, in order to get rice, we need to go back to Batical. So, I'm gonna go and see where Batical is. Okay, Batical's over there. And that's the problem here. Because if you already have five rice, then don't worry about it. You're good to go right ahead and head on to the next location. I'm just trying to think. I don't remember if I'm going to be allowed to go through here or not. So basically, you saw where the, it was on the map, so just follow this along the continents. Uh, you could do a couple other things too if you really wanted. Also, let me point something else out. Uh, we no longer have Axarew or Dale Pass on the map. That's why in, uh, a few videos ago I told you to make sure you got absolutely everything in Dale Pass, all the treasure chests in Dale Pass. And after the fall of Xeriuth, or as I like to think, part one of the game, it cuts out a lot of your side quests that you can do, including the Sword Dancer. So if you don't... What's this? Oh, that's Kessidonia port. We don't want to go to Kessidonia. So if you don't fight the Sword Dancer... By the time the X you uh, close out Xerium, it falls, you are no longer going to be able to fight the Sword Dancer, and you're not going to be able to finish the Sword Dancer side quest for the rest of the game. And unfortunately, we have to go the long circuitous route to get to you. Because you do want to, you don't have to get this now, but it'll make this a lot easier to go ahead and get the rice now. And I'm probably going to max out on the rice since um, I have a lot that I need to get. Malkuth uses the cat's bird as well, thanks to the trade arrangements. The sea sure is nice. The ships run pretty frequently, so it's easy to come here, unlike Grand Kokma. 
The score says I can still make money here, so I'll keep on coming. I was thinking of having the score read to find out how to approach General Cecile. But I'm afraid to hear what it says. Interestingly, they don't show you that person in good, like her face really well. Which isn't the big issue, but it's interesting that she has this like undying love for Cecile. That was pretty ballsy back when this game came out. It looks like that unused air car in the city has center has started moving again. Oh! They said it goes to the abandoned factory. Who'd be going there? Wait, what? Hold up. Can I do that now? Of course, this air car still doesn't work. I wonder where Princess Natalia is. Maybe she's down here? I still haven't had a chance to see Princess Natalia. Perhaps I should splurge a bit for a detailed score on exactly when I can see her. I wish I could meet Princess Natalia just once. I hope they open the Coliseum again soon. I wonder if the score didn't say anything about Xerius. No, there's no way it would have mentioned such a huge event. Princess Natalia is not back yet. What'll happen to Batacle if the princess disappears? Alright. But we're only here for one reason and one reason only. I cannot believe the score I was read by the maestro who came to our mansion. Should I tell Princess Natalia? I wonder if Princess Natalia is doing well. Lately things have been happening that aren't even in the score. I don't doubt it's giving her highness no end of trouble. I came here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to go to the Colossus of the Shops. Um, I'm gonna have to consult my notes. This might be the time we can get another uh, weapon or something that we couldn't, that we're not gonna be able to get later in the game. In the game. Oh, I already have that open. What an idiot. Let me check the armor, because there is an armor that I did not get before. But it actually might not be available. Uh, I think this is the armor shop. Yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, okay, it's not available yet. It's a item called Light Guard. But we can't get it yet. At least not here. I don't even see it on the list of stuff that's not available yet. And then the other one is Iron Gauntlets. Which uh, also doesn't appear to be here. Alright, whatever. And I don't think there are any uh, weapons that we could get that we don't have already. Yeah, no, those aren't available yet. Uh, any accessories? No accessories, no armor. All right, cool. I have a list of stuff that I don't have on my list. On my completed list towards the item collector. But, hi there, do you want some healthy food from Angave? And Gabe? Yes. I'm going to max out my uh, rice. It's pricey, but I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to get all my other ingredients to five. Yeah, that's plenty. That should be good. Since we're now at the point in the game where I can splurge a little extra. Alright. Perfect. Now that we got our max on rice. I could have Natalia start cooking it. But I don't, uh. I really don't want to, uh. Accidentally run out on it. Because you need to have five. Very soon. Alright, so now, let me take us back to 
let me take us to where we gotta go next. Um, I will cut to I get back on the Tartar, so see you soon. Alright, we're back on the Tartarus. Now, in order to get to the next location, you want to go west from Manacle. And just keep following the uh, path. And then... We want to go right through this little uh, channel, I guess you would say. And... Uh, Follow it around. You can go left or you can go right. It doesn't matter, but... We are looking for Fort Belkin. I think it's actually over here. Yeah, I forgot where Fort Belkin is. Um. Oh, right, right, right. So we came from over there. Okay, Fort Belkin's gonna be in this general area, I think. Oh no, that's Doff Bay. Wrong place. We don't want to be at Doff Bay yet. Not a big fan of the way the map works in this game. Like, I really don't like it. It's very, uh, I don't know, it feels clunky, bulky to me. Uh, that's okay. I know where that, what that is. Right, it should be over here. Somewhere. There it is, here's, here it is. This is Fort Belkin. Yep, found it. Just a little bit delayed because I'm coming, I didn't come here from, I actually didn't come here from Batical last time because I had the rice. Belkin is your father's territory, isn't it? When we were young, we went together to Belkin's the city's to the south. Let's go. Ash. Searching for Vance tracks. Do you think we'll find out what Vance up to in Belkind? I don't know, but we don't have any other leads right now. Indeed, we should investigate the phone machine laboratory in Belkind. Yeah, Van's been in and out often. There's bound to be something there. Yes, I'm certain we'll learn something. You're all pretty optimistic. Guy, do you have a problem? Natalia, don't bother. Whoa, ouch. What's with all this drama, Colonel? Annis, a proper lady doesn't pry. 
<laughs> As if Annis is a proper lady. Who are you trying to fool? But anyways, there's nothing to do here, really. Honestly, there's not. You can save if you really want to. You can't do anything there. There's probably two people you can talk to. There's a small research lab here at the port, too. Though it's nothing compared to the lab in Belkin itself. Two people and a dog. This is boarded off. Belkin's just south of here along the road. You're reaching in no time. And yeah, that's basically it. So let's go. Now. There is a skit that I got that I don't exactly remember how I got. But I'm going to try to get it. Now, before I do go and get it, there are six new enemies we could uh, fight here. One of them is relatively rare. The other one's not so much. Here's the first one. First two. We got a camo, uh, camo wolf. I actually might have to lower my uh, difficulty. And we also have a a Vechi. I I I think that's how you pronounce that. Basically, a more powerful Philipholia enemy. Uh, Ash fights very similarly to Luke. Which isn't exactly a shock considering we found out that he is basically... Luke is basically a copy of him. But the difference between Luke and Ash's fighting style is Ash is able to use magic. But that's basically it. Otherwise, he fights pretty much exactly like the fight with, uh... Luke. And I suppose if you really wanted to, uh... Customize those, you could. Alright, now... I think you get this skip by cooking as Jade. And don't quote me. So let's try to cook with uh, Jade. Cook anything with Jade. Yep, that's how you do it. An issue of probability. Jade, you're pretty good at cooking, aren't you? Living alone can teach you many things. But don't you have servants or someone to cook for you? I like to eat by myself sometimes. Speaking of cooking, you seem to be fairly experienced yourself. Yeah, well, I like making things. Food, machines. I wouldn't exactly consider those two to go together. Haha, <laughs> well, sometimes I miss out on meals when I'm working on foam machines. So I've learned the basics. Well, I'm relieved that you're able to cook as well. Why? It reduces the probability of encountering inedible food to a third. Ah, yes, the royal pair's cooking is quite impressive. Ha! <laughs> Talking about Natalia and Luke. Uh, 
Uh, this right here is Belkin, but we're not going to go there yet. You know, now that we got the ramen recipe, let's actually uh, set that on a shortcut. Even though we can't cook because we need pasta and kombu. I guess we can work on cooking with, uh... Ash. Except not rice balls. No, we don't even have any pasta. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, um... Sandwich. All right, we got a little bit of bread left. Anyways, I will go into Belkin. Of course we won. Hey, hey, all right. Natalia learned the skill Void Attack. I think Void Attack will occasionally make it so that a physical attack does no damage to you. I don't remember. But there are still four more enemies I'm trying to find. So I'm actually gonna... Anywho, as <clears throat> soon as I find these new... These last enemies, I am going to head over to Belkin. But for whatever reason, they just don't want to show up. There we go. Here's some of them. Alright, we got two new enemies here. We get the Hooligan, which works like a thief from earlier. And we have the Savage Helm. But there's actually another enemy that we're looking for in these guys. And it's a rare spawn. It does spawn with this exact same uh, overworld sprite thing for enemy thing. But unfortunately, the last enemy we're looking for doesn't spawn frequently. And as you might imagine, it's the mage. I guess what I would recommend doing is taking out these guys first. Because they have a lot of HP and they hit hard. This guy not so much, he doesn't do much to you. Damn it, I wasn't able to link my attack. Oh well. As far as I know, we already got the uh, skits we can get. Now, if you come over here... You don't want to go over here. Bad idea. I don't even think you can enter here. It might tell you we gotta get to Belkin. Let me try. Oh, ground is too USA to proceed. Okay. Ah, this is what I was looking for. Of Weave. Much like Final Fantasy, they have a Weave enemy. It is, a uh, Wyvern. But unlike the last Wyvern enemy, which was a Wyvern, I actually did not... I actually got this one my first playthrough. The only thing that sucks about this guy is he... 
He uh, is hard to hit, so I recommend doing any uh, magic attacks you can to him. Good, that'll weaken him a little bit. Lost his grade with him, but that's okay. Uh, you may have noticed an enemy that appeared... Uh... You may have noticed an enemy that appeared up here, like up above on that cliff. That is an enemy for a different area. Once you go up that hill, you're near that one area, and yeah, then you have to, uh... I will say this, that weave enemy is a pain. But anyways, I'm still looking for one more enemy, so what I'm probably going to end up doing is cutting until I find it, if I don't get it soon. What the hell is this? Yeah, unfortunately that's the thing. I get lost when I come up here. God, they all want me. They all want to touch my no-nos. All right, there we go. Lord have mercy. All right, so I'm just going to walk up and down this path <clears throat> right here. Until I find the enemy I'm looking for. So I'll just be right back. I might have to kill some of these things. Alright, that didn't take much longer than I thought it would. I only had to fight like one battle, maybe two. But we're looking for the final enemy right here, the Berserk Tricks. Yep, this is the last enemy we can find in this area. And, uh, oh yeah, damn. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take out this Berserkrix real quick. All right, now that I got that out the way, let's use a life bottle on Jay. No, Annis. Let's use a life bottle on Jade. Hey, Annis, do yourself a favor and use a Apple on yourself. <laughs> That's done. Jesus. Let's just cook one rice ball. Just one. Alright, we got it. Let's go to Belkind. 
This is also going to be another episode that's probably going to be longer than a half hour. Huh, there's a treasure chest there. We should be able to get that one soon. Uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be... Sorry, y'all, this is going to be a longer episode, because I can't stop it here, because this is the last episode of the day, and I need to save. This is the city of phone machines, Belkin. There's a phonon laboratory here. Everybody who lives here is involved with the laboratory. Oh, okay, there's an scene. If you need a rest, use the inn here. We do need a rest. Belkin's not a tourist spot after all, so we just converted this mansion into an inn. But what will we find at the phone on laboratory? Find out next time. Wait, hold up. Let me try it again. Rewind it. <laughs> But what will we find at the research laboratory, and will we be able to track down what Van is trying to do? What his true intentions are? Find out next time on Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. This is Joseph K. signing out. Y'all have a great day, and keep it real. Later.